2019 Hyundai Kona Electric should be able to do that with ease, based on the details Hyundai revealed for the U.S. spec model at the New York Auto Show, its 64.0 kWh battery pack is larger than that of any other non-Tesla EV currently on sale. A smaller pack available in other markets isn't coming to the states. Hyundai anticipates an EPA estimated driving range of 250 miles, which is greater than that of the 238 mile Chevrolet Bolt EV as well as the 151 mile rated range for the new 40.0 kWh Nissan Leaf. It's also more than the 220 miles expected for the upcoming standard range version of the Tesla Model 3 sedan. Hyundai expects a 117 GPA combined stamp, better than the Leaf's 112 mph and nearly as good as the Bolt EV's 119 mph, with 201 horsepower and 290 pounds to feet of peak torque. The corner should be quick among the sub Tesla EV set with the company claiming the sprint to 62 miles per hour takes 7.6 seconds. Top speed is governed to 104 miles per hour. The Kona's permanent magnet motor drives the front wheels through a fixed 7.98 to 1 ratio. While all-wheel drive is offered throughout the gasoline Kona lineup, the electric is front drive only. Many of the other chassis fundamentals carry over, with struts in front plus a hollow anti-roll bar, and a multi-link setup in the rear. Hyundai has retuned the electrically assisted power steering to suit what we'll assume is punchy or low-speed performance for the electric, as Hyundai readies a whole family of plug-in hybrid and electric models. Expect the brand to branch out and embrace plugging in with some new ownership models. Hyundai's only other all-electric vehicle so far, the Ionic Electric, is available via traditional purchasing or, in California, through a subscription pricing model that includes all fees, maintenance, and registration charges as well as charging costs. The Kona Electric will start reaching dealerships in California by the end of the year, and Hyundai plans to make it available somewhat later in the other states that adopt California's ZEV mandate. Hawaii isn't one of those, but the Kona Electric looks like it would fit right in.